Mr. Slater thought it was pretty good work. And what did the young lady think? <laughs> no doubt. I thought maybe she should join us. No. I mean, I drew it. Why bring her in? What's the point? The point is that I can bring you, her, or anyone else for that matter into my office at any time I feel I need to. Do we understand each other? Yes, sir. It's come to my attention that these hallways are quickly becoming a drugstore. I don't know anything about that. Really? Well, maybe it's time you do. Seriously? Drugs are a serious matter. Why me? Because you care about your future. I mean, this is a respected, clean school. Keeping it that way is good for everyone. You'd not only be helping yourself, you'd be helping all your fellow students. And what if I don't find anything? Well, then we don't have anything to worry about, do we, Mr. Bishop? Is that why he called you in? Sort of. It's, it's not worth getting into. I'm not the only one that gets to be the drama queen. Tell me what's going on. You weren't supposed to see this. Wait, is that why you've been avoiding me? I wasn't avoiding you. No, you were just pissed and not talking to me. I just don't like it when people look at my work without asking. You disappeared, and obviously you're not one for talking, so yeah, I looked. It was stupid, but at least I know what you're thinking. Just because you looked at a couple panels of my work doesn't mean you got me figured out. I don't hear you telling me anything different. Why bother? Because I thought you liked me. Guess I got that wrong. Elizabeth, I'm normally not such an idiot. See you tomorrow. I didn't know you were coming. Guess I should have called first. You can show up whenever you want, you know that. Hey, Esther. I didn't know we were going to see you today. Yeah, I didn't feel like going home after school. Old habit to just head to Viv's. My best friend in high school and I were the same way. We stopped at our favorite pickup window. Come grab something to eat. Uh, be there in a minute, Aunt Jody. And that's my cue. See? I'm getting the hang of this. When are we gonna be done with this? What's going on with you? Same thing that always is. I wanna be able to actually touch you when your aunt's around. I know, me too. But I thought we were okay about this. I mean, I know I need to tell her and I will, but I thought you were cool until I do. You're right. I didn't mean to do that. It's okay. Did something happen? Family drama. I don't really want to get into it. So then, what can I do to help? Take me to your room. Stearns, what the fuck, man? Snap out of it, man. You need to get over her. It's seriously affecting your play. What's your excuse? Man, I'm just saying move on. There are other girls lined up right behind Sylvie. Just take your pick. Great advice. Uh, where's your girlfriend? I have certain tastes. Really? Yep. But all's not lost. No way. Who is she? There's my ride. She's friends with your girlfriend. Oh, I mean ex-girlfriend. Asshole. What's he talking about? Uh, I don't know. Some girl he likes. Lucky her.
You know, I can give you a ride home if you want. It's okay. I can wait. Why? <laughs> We're not together anymore. I get it. I think I'm an asshole. I get that too. But we still live near each other. It's just a ride home. Jody makes good takeout. Doesn't she though? Hey, I thought Sophie and that dude from the party weren't dating anymore. Jonathan? They're not. <laughs> well, there they are. Not exactly the warm and fuzzies from those two. But still more than I would have expected. Maybe she's changing her mind. I don't think so. Why not? It's high school. People break up and get back together all the time. Not us. Because we have something that they don't have. Really? What's that? Love. 